check one two one two. We live, baby. Come, come, come on. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Can you can you can you hear me now? Oh, let's go. <laughs> it's your boy Big Chew, the voice of the beat. You know what I won't blaze up. Come on, blaze up. It's a beat for me. Wow, 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 I don't ask for nothing else. Just like the video. Also, I'm not monetized. So if you would like to support the channel monetarily, please hit this here cash app right there. If you can't, that's fine. Like the video. You know what I mean? Just like the video, get the video in the algorithm. Because when they don't make money off your, your, your stuff, they don't push you through the algorithm. So get the video up here now. Now, um, I was talking to my daughter yesterday. Because, see, I don't usually report on the rap girls. You know, I, that's really not really how I, where I be going. But this rap thing has been getting out of hand. So I told my daughter last night, I said, oh, girl, they was dragging me, bitch. I said, I ain't call her bitch. But I was like, girl, they was dragging me, girl. I was talking about Glow, and then her fans was talking. And then I was talking about JT, the her fan. I said, girl, they was dragging me. And my mama said, I mean, my daughter said, girl, they don't play about them, um, about their rappers. I said, I see. I say, but guess what I'm going to do? Be back tomorrow. What's up? So I'm here. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody. Now the rap done spilled over from Glorilla. The beat done spilled over from Glorilla uh, and JT to Akbar V looking for a moment as she does rather than looking for her children so that she can raise them. Uh, she's looking for a moment. So she inserted herself. Now her and Glorilla's friend, shout out to everybody in the chat who was telling me who uh, Gloss Up Glow was. So Glorilla has a friend named Gloss Up Glow, and she, you know, jumped in on behalf of her friends, as she should. And then here we are in this big cluster. It is a time we're going to get into that. Saweetie trying to act like she didn't know what she was doing. She like an old um, people post, and they ready to drag her down to the ground, as they should, because, girl, mind your business. It's a lot going on. Also, Tyrone Blackburn, the guy who is putting all these cases against Diddy. Remember we spoke about him yesterday. Um, he, uh, he's, he's dropping the ball is what he's doing. But I told y'all yesterday, in my opinion, what I believe is it's not about actually winning any of these cases for Tyrone Blackburn. It's about sabotaging Diddy's image in
government agent, plant, and how the fact that all her fans have to buy her baby uh, stuff that he needs because she ain't worth two nickels rubbed together on concrete, but we'll get there soon okay last i'm sorry not soon last so all fresh animals like the video like the video like the video but anyways let's get into some of this tea because i don't want to be here all day today's my man's birthday and we're gonna do a couple of things today or whatever the case may be so let's get into it oh yes krishan has been snitching baby so much so they said i didn't say it, but we're gonna get into it they said that the people who um that the man she unalive they say that's them essays and all of that. And they say them people is looking for her, girl. They say it's the time. They say, girl, it, it, people, it, it's a lot going on. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. You will we'll get to it. Okay, BB said, I don't know if you'll see this comment, boo, but thank you for what you do in educating our community. You put in a lot of work, and I appreciate it. Oh, thank you, BB. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Oh, your mom out the seven wall? My mother in Baltimore because my brother in the hospital. We was watching you and she was like, yeah, she from my city. My mother from the seven wall too. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Shout out to mama. Shout out to mama. If she from the project, she know my people. If she from out the project. Yeah, girl. But anyways. Oh, yeah. Speaking of uh, the project, to all the haters, and this ain't got nothing to do with the project, but just to, to it ain't all. It's just one or two. Bitch, I hope you go parachuting without a parachute. I hope you jump out of a plane without a parachute. Yes, I do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Scuba diving with no gear. Yeah. We'll get into it. Um, Patreon is going up on Patreon. That's what we're talking about this week. This week on Patreon, we're going to get messy. <laughs> Let's get messy. We're going to get messy on Patreon. All hoes bar. No hoes bar, I'm sorry. We get messy on Patreon. Shout out to the Patreon. Next week, we will be diving into... Who we doing next week on Rumble, y'all? Do we ever decide who we doing on Rumble? What deep dive we doing? I know we were talking about Quincy Jones. I'm going to pull somebody up. We're going to do somebody. Y'all send me some um suggestions. We'll get into it. But let's get into this content, girl. Hit me up on Patreon for the tea. All right. Um. So... Uh, let's start with Akbar v &M. girl. So, as you know, yesterday we spoke about this. Um, what's the girl name? Uh, 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 oh, Glorilla and JT got into it. JT felt like Glorilla had been throwing subs at her the whole time. Uh, Glorilla was running around making rap songs about how she's slapping rap bitches. JT said, bitch, you ain't slapped me, uh, whatever, whatever. Glow said, I hit you upside the head with the pocketbook. Wooty, 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 wooty. Okay? That's where we was as of yesterday. They went back and forth, traded a lot of zingers at each other. It was a time. It was a time. And at the end of what we were talking about, I told you guys about how Akbar, I ain't the mammy, V, decided to insert herself into something that had nothing to do with her. Remember I told y'all that? I said, now look at Agbar. Ain't nobody said nothing to Agbar about Agbar. Why is she inserting herself? I know I said it. I was there when I said it. I said, Agbar B is looking for a moment when she should be looking for her children so that she can mother them and make up for the lost time of motherhood that she didn't have with her children. Yes, I said it because she's even gone so far as to calling the girl gloss up glow her kids is uh f your kids and oh yeah it's the time and also too let me say this to all the bitches and hoes who was over there justifying erica mina flipping out because um er our old spice not 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 ice spice but the old spice because regular spice told her her son don't like her and y'all were saying children are off limits children are off limits children are off limits so it doesn't matter after that because children are off limits i need all you bitches to the front of the congregation too because agba be literally said some slanderous horrible negative things about somebody else's children even though she's not a mother to her own so i need y'all up to the front of the congregation to all the ones who was hollering children are off limits so i understand why Erica called her a monkey because children are off limits. I need all y'all up to the front of the congregation. Line up shortest to tallest. Okay? Please and thank you. I need y'all up here too. So let's go get um the, the continuation from Akbar V and the girl Gloss Up Glue. So okay. Akbar V, like I told y'all yesterday, we're going to go to that post. Akbar V 
uh, put up a post saying y'all hoes ain't talking about nothing. And I said on yesterday, I said, girl, mind your mammy mother plucking business. I know I said it. I was there when I said it. I said, girl, ain't nobody asked you or nobody looking for you, but here you go. Y'all know how Agba V is. Agba V just wanted a moment. Well, she got her moment. Let's go. Uh, let's go get into this. So now shortly after that, uh, what's the girl name? J, not JT, Glorilla's friend, Gloss Up Glow. I didn't know that was her friend. Thank you to the people who, who told me about that. She ended up saying something because, you know, that's not cool. But wait, pause. I'm glad I saw this. I want to say this before we get into it. I want to um look at something else. You guys like the video. Before we get into this, I have to speak about this because I, I saw this and I wanted to uh, talk about this. Sexy Red was invited out to the high school. Remember we were talking about that? Look at what this girl was talking about. And I agree with this person a thousand percent when she says that the parents want to be the children. And that's why these children is fucked up and they invite sexy red down to the doggone schoolhouse. I believe with it. I'm I'm a hundred percent aligned with what this young lady had to say. Peep this, because we a sad girl as a as a people. Exactly why I'm afraid to have kids. Because they want to be the kids. Like mm -hmm. the grandma's the baby. Yep. Currently going viral on Twitter right now because I had retweeted. A, a post where Sexy Red um, was mad because she couldn't go and perform or speak at a school. And I said that mm, I've been telling y'all her target audience is kids because it is. That's what I believe. That's what I see with this shit. You don't got to agree. I don't care. A lot of these new age artists target kids with very hypersexual and explicit content. I feel like my point is proven seeing that mm, she's mad she can't go into a fucking school. Because why as an adult entertainer whose music is on the verge of <laughs> erotica, would you even think it's appropriate for you to show up at a school and then show up like that? Smelling like marijuana with your cleavage hanging out. Baby, you wouldn't even be able to go visit your baby daddy in prison looking like that. Mm. But that's how you show up for the kids. Mm. Okay. Two, why would adults even think it is morally right to book a fucking sexy red to come speak to kids? From the teachers to the fucking superintendent to why would y'all think that's acceptable? The adults of this generation do not want to protect children. They nope. just want to exploit them. Y'all don't see black kids as kids. Mm -mm. You don't see black children as children. Nope. This is why y'all in my comments in my last videos mad at me because I don't agree with an 18 year old being a 304. The amount of adults in my comments trying to justify this shit is just like blowing my mind. Somebody said, well, adults love sexy, kids love sex. What adult is condoning their child listening to Sexy Red? Even I had to sneak to listen to Kaya. The adultification of black kids right now makes me want to fucking slap every bitch in here. A lot of these new age adults remind me of those older monitors hmm. who would come and substitute at the school and who would think they was one of the kids. I'll never forget, I had a whole beef with one of these grown ass monitors. Literally, I had to call my mom up to the school because she beefing with me like she a kid. Literally, you mad at me, but you kicking it with the whole football squad. And what's funny is she ended up getting fired years later because it got found out that she was messing with one of the kids. And that's what y'all be giving. Like weirdo behavior. Y'all are blurring the lines. Y'all do not want to hold space for the kids. I told y'all, y'all hating bitter aunties is in the club with y'all now. Hmm. They in the club turning up with you. Hmm. They don't want to be your auntie. They don't want to be your big sister. They don't hmm. want to be your mentor. They your fucking competition. Confirmation. You can go to the club right now and see an 18-year-old with the same aesthetic as a motherfucking 35-year-old. It's weird. Y'all are weird. The grandmas, the baby. These new age adults are exactly why I'm afraid to have kids. Because they want to be the kids. Like, the grandmas, the baby. Currently going viral on Twitter right now. All because right. So you guys heard what she said. Let me just say this. She did not miss. She did not miss. The parents want to be the children. They think that they are the children. The parents want to adultify children. But then when, God forbid, if a police officer unalives or manhandles one of these so-called same children they want to adultify, then it's they are children. How can they do this to our children? P cops don't see our children as children. See, black people have this victim Olympics that I hate about us. We want to only be the victim when it suits us. 
There's absolutely no found reason, no sound reason a person like Sexy Red should be performing at any school, not even a college. And you want to know why? Because the trajectory of children in college, because they're still kids, they're still children, the, tra the trajectory of children in college has, does not even align with a sexy freaking red. But let's just stick with high school and beyond. Why even if somebody in the comments was like, well, what if she had something positive to say? There's nothing positive she can say with the negative freaking um, presentation that she has. She's a slut. She's a whore. She speaks about getting STD like 90 going west. She talks about being a degenerate. She talk, Nothing she says is positive because even if she says something positive, it's going to be negative coming from her as she is. Then she show up to the school as, with smelling like marriage or winner. And they got people really in here, but they had Lil' Kim back then, and they had Foxy Brown back then. Bitch, we wasn't sitting around listening to that shit in front of our mamas. Are you crazy? We was not sitting around listening to Lil' Kim in front of our mamas. Well, you had to sneak and get that shit. Matter of fact, my mama didn't even let me buy the album. I had to go tape it, record it off somebody else's tape. But we want to sit up here and make it seem like it's the same. This is not the same. So let me tell y'all something, the difference. The difference in what Little Kim did back in the 90s and the early 2000s and Trina and all those, those people had a hold on adults. L Sexy Red, Krishan, Rake, all these girls have a hold on your fucking children, duck, duck, goose. And you're wondering why the little girls running around here is being overly sexual. The little boys are unfortunately doing essay and all this stuff to them because the mom is so busy worried about trying to be friends with their child because they want to be their child friend. And then boom, here you go. But as soon as God forbid a cop pull him over and manhandle him, the same woman, the same mama who say her son could do what he want because, oh, he this, he that, and the third. They're going to be the same ones up there hollering, but he's my child. He's a child. He's a child. No, if he's a child, let him be a child. But Sexy Red at the school shouldn't even be up for fucking discussion. The parents shouldn't have been down there protesting, acting a damn fool. But you know why they're not going to protest? Because people on here and people in our community, let's talk about it. All we care about is being friends with our kids. And all we care about is trying to be kids our damn self. It's almost like we acting like we on some Michael Jackson shit. Like we missed our childhood. So we just trying to get it back vicariously through our kids. That girl ain't said not one lie. That girl ain't said not one freaking lie. And I don't care what how old you was when Lil' Kim album came out. I don't know. I don't care how old you was when Foxy Brown album came out or Kaya came out with all you ladies popping. You was not listening to that and popping your coochie in front of your mama and the people in, in the elders. You wasn't. You had to go to a party and do that shit. I'm from New Orleans. I can remember DJ Jubilee would back that thing up. Girl, I wish the fuck I would have turned around and tooted my ass up in front of my mama. Y'all have lost your mind. But guess what? When I was at the parties or at the school dance, that's different. But you, I tell you what, wasn't nobody doing that in front of their mama or popping it. Yes, be Nikki or popping it with your mama. They trying to conflate the two when it doesn't. That don't go like that. But again, me being where I'm at today and being in the, in the level of consciousness that I am, I understood that it took uh, Lil' Kim and Foxy Brown and, and Kaya and all them girls to pave the way for where we are now. So I'm not le relieving them of any type of uh, messed up situation or putting us in a messed up situation. What I'm saying is they are directly putting a sexy red in front of your little girls, but they ain't putting it in front of theirs. Ask yourself why. Girl, please. Girl, I wish I would have been at a heard a song and it had some explicit lyrics in it. Let alone have the explicit lyrics in it, then I get to go popping. And then when I seen them little girls over there at that party, I saw them little five, six year old girls being that ass over. Make that coochie breathe. If some adult is it was recording this shit and uploaded this shit to the internet, then you will be one of fucking windmill to your arms fall out of sock. God forbid if somebody did something to them. Girl, black people, y'all have to be strong.
Anyway, let's get into um Agba V with she's another one of the mamas. So busy on here trying to be cool, trying to be this, that, and the third, trying to worry about her. She got five freaking children. Let's get let's talk about it. Uh, what's the girl? Agba V has five freaking children who she had she had custody of none of these children. None. She had custody of none of these children, not one. She finally got custody a short while ago, maybe a few years ago, and you would think she would be making up for lost time being in the life of her children, making sure she's the mother that she never was to them, to them damn children. But nope, she's over here boot, snick, boot licking and ass sniffing Nicki Minaj and trying to ease her way into a rap beef because she's a 40 some year old fucking loser. Period. She's one of them hood, gutter snipe, raggedy, trifling, dirty girl. You, the how you walk in the house, it probably smell like stale cigarettes when you walk through that. Bit. That's that's Akbar V. That's Akbar V. These chur is over here beefing, and this fifty year old should be grandmother is over here inserting herself just so she can go viral instead of being a mother to her children, the mother that they never had. I can't stand Akbar V. The bitch was just on here crying, talking about her child was sick and almost on the DI's list. It took for the baby daddy to come out and say she was a lie. Girl, this girl is fucking, something is wrong with her. Something is wrong with Akbar V. Anyway, she inserted herself to get just what she wanted, which was attention. So let's give this nothing of a bitch ass mother, Agba V, all the attention she wants. And if she get up long face ass, see, see a bitch like Agba V, they can lose all the weight they want. But she will always have that fat ass whole face. You feel what I'm saying? That's why their face, it goes from like this to long like the fucking mask. You see you, you mask looking ass bitch. You get your ugly ass on here crying one more time about somebody talking about my children. Bitch, I'll drive up that bitch wing fall and, and whip your ass my damn self. Fuck. Can't stand these raggedy bitches like that. And this the representation we got. I feel sorry for their fucking kids. So let's give her, let's give her the, the attention she wants. So she goes on to say, after she say, y'all hoes ain't talking about nothing. She says, I do what I want, say what the F I want at the girl JT. F that big Tory store, wait, Toy Story limited edition head ass hoe or whatever. She ain't no threat. Now she's on the side of JT. Gloss up glow response and says, I was trying to stay out of this, but why do you feel like you had time to insert yourself in their shit? Exactly. Exactly. She does have time because she obviously don't care about parenting her children. She, she, them children probably neglected as hell because all she do is sit her ass online, wait for Nikki to fart so she can catch it in her mouth or wait for something else to go down in the street so she can in her, insert herself and get this attention. So let's give this ugly ass hoe all the attention she needs. They're dragging you on Twitter, bitch. They already showing your fight when you was big as a house, getting your ass whipped. But see, a bitch like hoe, she has no shame, so you can't even embarrass her. That's what's worst about this. Glorilla responds and said, deep breath shaped asshole. They better be lucky they telling me to stop. She is shaped like a goddamn deep breath. That's what she shaped like. Minding everybody's business but her own. Girl, you got five kids. So now you into it. Let's get into it. All right. So after that, um, they get to the going back and forth. And uh, hold on, let me see. Yeah, they get to the going back and forth in where that other one at? I'm gonna go to Twitter too. All right, here we go. So this is Agba V. Gloss up glow says, always talking about somebody kids. Watch this. Now, this is Agbar's uh comment or her her post. Ask the man who you signed to know to. Wait, what? Ask the man who you signed to. He know I'm whatever. The, if you spit on me, I'm a you in your effing in your. Oh God, I can't even see that. I'm a f. I'm a 
what is that? Blank you in your blank. And them kids gonna miss their mother. Now ho, leave me be, cause I'm really slow as for oh yes, we know you slow. You know who to play with. F you not about to rip you, you're not even ready for the type of games I play. Shit can get dirty. I don't know what that is. So this is now Agba V talking about. She going to do something to the girl and her kids going to miss her. And that's why Gloss Up Glow says, always talking about somebody's kids, watch this. See, this is what I'm saying. She don't care about her own kids. And you know why the, the sexy rays is going down to the high schools? Because it's a bunch of kids with parents like Agba V. This is a bunch of kids with parents like an Agba V. That's why the sexy rays can go down in the high school and we at eyes and split up about how we feel about the situation. Let's move on. This is Gloss Up Glow. Like walk past a hoe, did I say I was gonna mm -hmm. slap or spit on? Mm -hmm. Never walk past a hoe, I said I was gonna beat they mm -hmm. ever. And make sure if y'all, if y'all, y'all got the drops, send them. Send them. Cause one thing I don't play about is my mother mm -hmm. kid. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you nice as hell because you were just on the phone with my friend to my I love gloss. I love gloss. You you love Don't love me, bitch, cause when I get done whooping your ass, you you ain't you ain't gonna love it. You know what I'm saying? Then you talking about my kids. Clock that T. Bitch. Fat ass hoe. Y'all know um Auntie Annie. I, I think I'm gonna um franchise it. She don't have a new name in a minute. How I'm finna fold this hoe up. But you're not gonna do. Let's play with my baby with you. Yes, girl, she's talking about my kids, baby. Where are yours? My kids are in their rooms. Their rooms are clean, lights all down. Y'all, this old 42. I am 26 years old. And you fucking with me? Bet. I ain't never in my life heard a promoter say, We got Agbar. <laughs> I did not mean to say her name. <laughs> I ain't never heard a promoter say, We got this hoe in the building. We no. have our <laughs> in the building. Elva. Elva, she got dropped from Love and Hip Hop. You ain't got no bag, honey. You don't get booked for show. You not on a TV show. You, you ain't. <laughs> you don't even got your kids. I don't got shit to do with what they got going on. And then that's how it was from the beginning. That's why I never said anything. But yes, of course, I'm going to say something. If you feel like you gonna, you just finna just jump in some shit that got something to do with. You know what I'm saying? Like. That ain't got nothing to do with you. Why did you feel like you have to? Why? Just leave them. Let them argue. That's what the fuck they doing. Let them do it. And nobody said your name. Why you feel like you have to insert yourself? You motherfucking memory card. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all for the be on any type of time. Yeah. Anywhere I go, I'm gonna be on that type of time, and I'm on that times a thousand. I ain't never in my. Like walk past a hoe did I say let me tell you something first of all <laughs> she said you fucking memory card <laughs> but outside of that wait Akbar I believe is older than 42 but this girl is 26 years old Glorilla gotta be in her 20s I don't know how, how old JT is but JT probably it maybe late 20s early 30s correct me if I'm wrong this is a 40 some odd year old woman in here beefing with children that she could be that's young enough to be her daughters. Young enough to be her daughters. She is looking and itching for something from, gir from girls young enough to be her children. You guys, please like the video. This is sad and it's sick. It's disgusting and it's horrible. It's sad and it's sick. Girl, you, you, and this is why, like I said, this is why the children, the, it's parents like Akbar B in the comments saying, ain't nothing wrong with her coming to the school. Maybe she was going to give a positive message because these bitches are a little throw it off in the head. These bitches, you know what I'm saying? They mama must have did a little, uh, a couple of little lines or something when they was pregnant with them. These the women, these is, this is what, this is the manifestation of Rockhead, Snaggletooth. That's what, you know what I'm saying? In her 40s. This is going to be her. Akbar is not 30 nothing. I know what Google said, girl. They be, listen, they be paying Google to say that. Akbar V ain't 30 a motherfucking thing. 
a month, girl. Agba V. It, I don't. I don't believe she forty two. I don't even believe she forty two at this point. Agba V ain't thirty nothing. She ain't seen thirty since girl eight thirty last night. Girl, she ain't thirty a goddamn thing, girl. Agba, they be paying Google to manipulate their age and stuff. You can do it too, girl. Agba V ain't no thirty nothing. She over there arguing with these children, threatening the girls. Ain't nobody gonna come to Atlanta, put the asshole. Ain't nobody gonna come to Atlanta, put the asshole. Cause I grew here, you flew here. Bitch, how old are you? I can't stand when niggas wanna take hold and possession of something when they don't even own their fucking house. Girl, what are you talking about? Are you dumb? Girl, please. Her messing with children. Her going back and forth with children. This is sad. This is why the 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 uh, children are doomed. This is why the children are doomed. All right, let's go get. So this is Agbo. This is Agbo, y'all. Fuck you and your children. How about that? Now nah. you know I never mentioned your kids. Pause. She said, "Fuck you and your children." All the apologists for Erica Mina, who was over there saying, "When all all Spice said was, your son doesn't like you." Y'all say children are off limits. Once you mention children, that's it. She said, "Fuck you and your children." Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Cause y'all was windmilling till your arms came out of socket for the for the for the clear Latina. Mind you, let me let me add this in again. Cardi B ain't black. Neither is Erica Mina. And I'm glad I said that. Let me pause for a word because I'm about to prove this to y'all too. I'm going to prove to you that Cardi B knows she ain't black. I'm going to prove this to you. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, yes, I am. I'm going to prove to you that Cardi B knows she ain't black. While all y'all around here windmilling for this hoe to say she black, peep this. Watch Cardi. Watch Cardi. Watch Cardi. Watch Cardi. Look, 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 look. What's Hold your up. approach? Let me back it up. Let me back it up. I clash over like. Latinos using the n-word and so forth like that like what's your approach to that um it's just it's something that like it's like a lingo like even if I want to stop saying it I really can't stop saying it like I'm, I'm sorry like it seems like it's something that is so normal which is bad but like it is what it is mm. Let me run that back for y'all one more time. I clash over like Latinos using the N word and so forth like that. Like, what's your approach to that? He said, what do you think about the backlash over Latinos using the N word? What's your approach to that? She knows she ain't nigga, but they got slow ass school, short bus shorty school niggas in my comments all over the internet, everywhere else saying that she is black. She knows she ain't black. She knows she ain't black, but y'all gonna but y'all gonna make her black because you like her. No, this her Misha. This ain't no. This is her. This is her before the fame. This is love and hip hop Cardi. This is yes. This is love and hip. This the Cardi I met. Nope, because I think she got the bottom teeth mixed on this one. So this not even the Cardi I met. The one I met had fifty limb teeth at the bottom row. Oh yes. This is the Cardi I met. So I'm going to let it go back one more time. Then we're going to get back to the T because I just wanted to add that part in there. Cardi B knows she's not black. So black people stop windmilling for a woman who knows she's not black. Like I told you, skim milks are very tricky. They are extremely tricky because they use the black card because they have so much, um, they have so much access to Negroes. But the fact of the matter is they know they ain't black. They just play black to be in your face. Duck, duck, goose. Yes, let's let it, run it back one more time. I clash over like Latinos using the N word and so forth like that. Like, what's your approach to that? Um, hmm. it's just it's something that like it's like a lingo. Like, even if I want to stop saying it, I really can't stop saying it. Like, I'm I'm sorry. Like, it seems like it's something that is so normal, which is bad. Or like it is what it is. If Cardi B was a black woman, hear me and hear me good. 
when he said, what do you think about backlash, the backlash of you uh, using the N-word? She would have said, well, why can't I use the N-word? I'm an Afro-Latina. That's what she would have said. I'm black. Why wouldn't I be able to use the, the N-word? Why is that a problem for me? I am black or I have Afro-Latina in my family. Nope. You know what she said? Well, it's kind of a thing. It's like a lingo. And, you know, even if I want to start saying it, I still say it because it's kind of like a thing in the boogie down Bronx. So, yeah, um, yeah. And it's a lot of you motherfuckers. And you know what's crazy about some black people? That's why I say we weird. Because I'm showing you out of her own words, her not admitting to be no Afro-Latina or nothing. And y'all going to come on here and still find replay gang. I know y'all going to do it. Y'all still going to find a way to get into the comments and justify her being black. She ain't black. And let me, let me tell you some hard truth. They don't want to be black. They understand being black it makes them oppressed. They understand being black puts them at the bottom of the totem pole. They understand that being black means you are forgotten because you don't exist because black is the lack thereof. Stupid. They understand socially, economically. You, you're nothing. Why would she want to be black? Why would she want to be? Let's talk about it. Let's have the uncomfortable conversation. Why would she want to be black when being black has no social currency, no currency at all? None. But y'all gonna make a black though because you like her. She knows she ain't black. Only, 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 only thing that the clears get off of blacks is they understand that we do have a currency as it pertains to culture and they utilize it and they take it. They act like they are friends. It's, it's giving Indians and pilgrims all over again. Oh yeah. I'm gonna be your friend. Come on, show me how to do this. And then we show we, the pilgrims. I'm gonna be your friend. The Indians sit them down, show them how to, yeah, I'm gonna show you how to bathe your ass and, 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 and cook this and catch your food and, and, and all of this and, and get, and then we teach them. And then right after that, they out the door. Stop trying to make everybody black. This ain't a black Afro Latina. This is a clear fucking Latina. And I said what I said. Let's have a let's have an uncomfortable conversation. Them folks don't want to be no nigga. Shit. I if you had some type of social currency and you were somebody who was seen different from you, you wouldn't want to be you neither. Let's get back to this beef. I just wanted to throw that part in there. Now listen to Akbar V alien head looking ass. This is her response. First of all, she said, fuck you and them children. Now let's get into it. I said your kids will miss you if you spit on me, ho. I said you, you pussy, not talking about nothing. I'm out of town right now, so that's why you acting like a bitch. I'm in New York, fly up here if you want me that bad. But when I get back to my city and y'all dusty feet, stinking ass, no glow up ass, because you signed a 360 and you still don't look like that. You still ain't glowed up. I don't see nothing. Nobody's talking about you. You're not relevant, Miss Mama. Like, you look like a fucking bad body two to roll. Like, girl, shut the fuck up. Nobody stun you, bitch. I'm on my way out. I'm on my way out. Around some rich ass niggas. She's not a black American, but she definitely has African descent. Let's be real. Shaquana, are you nigga? Before I even respond, are you nigga? I don't think you even nigga. So I'm gonna I'm excuse you from the conversation. Cause you're not giving me nigga on the, on the, on the screen right here. So be, because of that, I'm going to go ahead on and excuse you from the conversation. This ain't for you, fat. This a nigga meeting. This ain't for you. When we had them type of conversation, these are Negro meetings. You not invited. Okay? So I'm going to just excuse you from the conversation and you, I'm going to send you back to the goo. And then we're going to move on from there. This ain't, your, this ain't your fight, fat, fat. She said, yeah, you is. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't see a Negro on the screen. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna do like the census enumerators used to do us. I don't you don't look Negro, so I may go ahead on and get you up out of here off the screen. This ain't your meeting. That that this ain't your meeting, Shaquana. Shawana, Shauna, this ain't your meeting, baby. <laughs> Nigga said she don't have no top lip. <laughs> Anyways, let's go back to Akbar. I'm sorry. 
Ho, you're broke and miserable. And you having them children, the motherfucker house fucking party, and acting like you just so rich. Bitch, take them children, Chuck E. Cheese, broke, poor ass ho. Bitch, and I ain't bite my fucking tongue. Now, blogs post this. Ho, you not talking about now. Y'all hope my child run Atlanta. Ho, y'all don't run nothing but y'all mouth. You don't even be out in Atlanta. Then you just got your ass whooped by finesse two times, bitch. When she just beat the fuck out of you and you acting like you really just doing some girl, shut the fuck up, little bit ass hoe. Oh, you get pissed on, not spit on, bitch. I make my motherfucking dog piss in the clouds, bitch. Fuck you and your children. Mm. How about that? Now, y'all heard what Agbo said. You guys like the video, please. Let me see what we had on likes. We only have 383 likes. Oh, no, y'all need a commercial break. Hell no. Hell no. Y'all ain't y'all not going to get all this good time content on my man's birthday and don't want to like the video. Hell no. Let me get y'all a commercial break. Commercial break. Go ahead on. Uh, hit that X. Hit the like button and come on back. I'm going to give you 50 seconds. Hit that X. Hit the like button. The chat going to be right here. Y'all need a commercial break. Y'all done lost y'all rabbit ass to my hell no, girl. Can you hear me now? Oh, let's go. Now, it's your boy Big Chew, the voice of the beat. You know what I want, Blaze up. Come on, Blaze up. It's a beat for me. Wah, 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 Yes, this is from an African tribe. Those dances are from an African tribe. Have you all a friend like the video, you guys? But the ones in New Orleans, the ones, the other guys that are dancing in that video, those are New Orleans dances. I keep, I keep forgetting. We got to do a, um, a, what you call them on that? Did y'all like the video? Come on now, like the video. <laughs> Angel say, voodoo, your man is an Aries and you don't want to give us no shout out. I've been shouting y'all out. Y'all bully me. So I've been shouting y'all out. I have. Everybody been coming on here. It's my birthday, boo. I be giving y'all a shout out because y'all bully me. Aries bully me. Y'all bully. So I've been giving y'all shouts out. Y'all can't just let the Pisces be great. So I've been giving y'all a shout out, I guess. Okay. But yeah. Um, you guys like the video, please, please, please like the video. Now back to this girl. This girl said, F your children. I didn't say nothing about your kids. I say your kids gonna miss you. What? Talking about take them kids to Chuck E. Cheese. When have you ever seen Agba V with her children? I'll wait. Who follow her? I don't follow her. How, how often? When, when the last time y'all seen Agba with them children? And how often do you see her with them children? I really want to know. I don't follow the bitch, so I don't know. This is a woman who did not have custody of her kids until recent, a few years ago. How often do you see her with her kids now? And she on this thing telling this girl, oh, you need to go and take your kids to Chuck E. Cheese? Girl, these the mamas up at the schoolhouse saying, let Sexy Red come. This the mama at the schoolhouse saying, ain't nothing wrong with her coming. Ain't nothing wrong with her going to the school. That's the mamas. In here, really over here, beefing with a 26-year-old. Oh, she did? Every man wants a woman. Well, him and her could just go hang. She bought a, key, a house for them churn. Didn't Drake buy her a car or something like that? It's giving welfare, and I don't like it. This is Akbar Vito. This is the mother of the year. Yes, you guys. If you want to know what the mothers of today are like, that girl, when she was describing how the mothers want to be the kids, here you go. Here you go. 
Here you go. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Listen, when that girl on that previous video said the mother want to be the kids, she, she was describing Akbar. Look at Akbar. That's who he is. That's where it is. That's where it is. Mm-hmm. Yep. She was describing Akbar V when she said the mothers want to be the kids. That's what she was talking about, Akbar. You gonna tell this girl take her kids to Chuck E. Cheese? When have you even had? When the last time you seen your kids? Because she got on here and lied and said that her daughter was dying. Remember? And then the baby daddy said she allowed the baby, the girl at home. She just had the flu. Y'all remember that? I was mad because I really was on here sympathizing with her. Like, oh my God, I feel so bad. And then for the baby daddy to come out and be like, that was a lie. I said, this is a a slow girl. You get what I'm saying? This is Akbar. This is Akbar. This here is the parents that girl was describing right there. You just synced it. So it goes further than that. I want to say, hold on. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Let me go back to Twitter. I'm going to have to make that a short of, her, of this girl around here saying something about uh, Cardi. I'm going to have to make that a short of her being questioned on being nigga or using the word. And she said, well, it's just the lingo. I don't, I don't know. It's just the lingo. I'm going to have to make that a short. I'm going to have to clip that and put that on my socials. Because niggas, and even though I'm going to show it to them, niggas going to still find a way to say she black like that, uh, that, 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 that girl who was just on here interrupting the meeting that she wasn't invited to. You get it? What's this girl? Hold on. Oh, girl, y'all got to see this. Look, now she being a victim. Hold on. Now she's a victim. Now Akbar's a victim. They're going to get rolled on when they pull up. Girl, the funny thing is, when I get back to Atlanta, I want to see this whole pull up. She ain't That's pulling that. out. That's that hoe. I'm going to take you. I'm going to show you Atlanta. That's These hoes going to pull up 30 cars deep. Them hoes ain't pulling up. No way. Them hoes going to get rolled on when they pull up. <laughs> Ain't gonna get dragged. Ms. Thirty Parker. cars for one person is crazy. They was all on live talking about some jumper hole and all type of shit. Her and her glass friend. I still want to yeah, know what one song she happen. did. I want to see a hoe drag me in my city. That's what I want to see. <clears throat> this shit is for internet and games. <laughs> She's not giving that. She's just talking. It's, it's right. giving the hoe just running they dick suckers. That's it, and that's what it's gonna. Ever be tell little Miss Sparkle sit down. But ho, <laughs> when a whole mention my kids, bitch, I'm taking yours to the grave. Let's go. Now I miss glitter sparkles. Put <laughs> your dumb ass on change your name, hold your <laughs> confetti at this okay, point. Not beauty supply store gloss. The bitch is confetti. I want to know why when everybody seen her talk about my child, was y'all kids, was y'all in the comments telling that whole lead the kids out of it? That's my biggest thing. Not saying y'all in general. I'm saying people, period. No, they one-sided. You know what they get. Yeah, they one-sided. Because when the hoe was mentioning my kids on the live, nobody said, leave our kids out of it. Crockett. That's why I, I say, whatever I you got to say, did. just say oh, it. Don't did. worry who about said, what them people were saying. Me, I did. I said, oh, I said, I don't know who they did. I said, no, uh-uh. I said, we ain't doing that. I said, because you come for you or you're going to be mad. She was like, I don't give a fuck. I know she was reading the comments. A lot of people said it, though. It wasn't just me. I know a lot of people. Oh, she don't give a fuck why she mad. Yeah, she said she don't okay. Either. Now, so everybody can, so everybody can attest that she bung up my children. And her life right? is saying so. <laughs> well, she didn't lie that she brought my children up first, right? Yeah, yeah she, she did. did. Okay. When did she go live? Yeah. Last yeah. night. She don't be having nothing to do going live. Don't got no music. That hoe ain't even home. got no ice make on her refrigerator. I'm not ugly with that hoe. No <laughs> oh, she got a regular refrigerator. <laughs> she got the white one. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy about this? All the people in there laughing at her. She saying she got a refrigerator that don't have the ice machine on it. They probably doing worse than the, than the girl. 
But mind you, Akbar V started this. Ain't nobody come ex Akbar V. Ain't nobody go get her. Akbar V literally inserted this whole shit. Nobody asked Akbar V asked for this. She asked for it. Yeah, be Billy laughing with no ice maker themselves. That's what it's giving. That's what it's giving. Now, nah, see, them in New Orleans is what we call the punks. See the, 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 gay, the gay guy on there talking about, yeah, mm -hmm, she probably ain't got no ice. Or if it, that's what we call the punks. See, there's levels. In New Orleans, we got punks and we got gay men. That would be what we consider one of the punks. The punks are the gay, the gay boys who be in a girl's mess. They will fight girls. They, you know what I'm saying? They messy. They always on some, some type of bullshit. That's the punks. They typically poor, low grade. You know what I mean? The punks. That's what we call them in New Orleans. That's the punks. And they stay around a nothing ass, dusty ass, ragged ass, ain't shit of a mother ass bitch like Akbar. Match made in heaven, ain't it? Until they get into it. And the next thing you know, see, this when the, when, when they be talking about how as soon as they get into it with the girls, the girls want to always call them gay and da da da, da is because that's the that's the relationship that they talking about. It be the punks with the with the nutting ass, ragged ass bitches, and they come together and thrive on mess. But as soon as mad day come, he tell her her coochie thing, and she tell him he a, a F A you know what. And then that's why they be beefing like that. Because I tell you what, sophisticated women and real gay men don't have these type of problems because they don't be sitting around dragging and talking about mess all day. That's the punks. That's the punk. Uh-huh. Yep. That's the punks. Waiting for mad day to be like, that's why your coochie was thinking the other day. And for her to say, that's why when that boy bonked you in your, you know what, in your booty, you was over there crying because you, you couldn't stop for three days straight and that's why they say he gave that's that relationship that's that right there mm -hmm. that's that right there it's a difference it's levels just like they got bitches and hoes and they got women they got thoughts and they got women that there's levels there's levels on all sides there's levels on all sides so there you go all right, um, girl, let me just say this. Let me make sure I ain't got nothing else on this hole. Because Akbar V is, again, like I said, nobody asked Akbar. Akbar jump, jumped off the porch with this her own self. Ain't nobody asked Akbar to jump into this. Ain't nobody say, Akbar, what you think? Oh, yeah, I got to show y'all this, girl. Oh, girl, I got to show y'all this. Then, now they're saying she went, uh, uh, um... Uh, offset shit. Mind you, she's supposed to be a bar. They said this is Offset's brand of clothes, and she on the dragon. Um, this girl behind. Look, hold on. Let me let me uh turn it up. Is the sound on on here? She talking about your kids ugly. Hold on. I don't want to scroll while y'all on here on Twitter. I'm about to go get the whole video because the whole video on him. Now they dragging her about this. She supposed to be a barb licking on Nikki's bottom foot, bottom foot, and she on there with they say allegedly to be Offset's shirt. And look, here's here's one of the receipts. This is the shirt she got on, and we are gonna get into the video. This is the shirt she has on. You see it? And look at your children, ugly ass, whatever, whatever, whatever. whatever. That's the shirt she got on, right? This. It's offset shirt. $160 for a fucking girl, please. Now you know that done woke up Barty gang. She up in that dragon in offset shirt. She's so slow, she probably don't even know it's offset shit. <laughs> she just probably saw it cost $160 and was like, I want it. Girl, that's how slow she is. She just probably only wanted it because it cost $160 and she knows she's going to flex on the bitch with it on. She probably didn't even realize the stupid ass. That's how stupid she is. I bet you them churn ain't got what they need. I bet you them churn ain't got everything they need. I bet you. I bet you. I bet you why she on here doing all of this is things them children need. I, I can almost guarantee you. And she's spending all her money on trying to look like she got money. 
and them churn around that neglected. I could bet you. And she gonna feel like as long as they got a house, they don't need nothing else. Fuck a mama, fuck being there, fuck being there for my kids, fuck actually raising my children. None of that matter. She's she one of the mamas who gonna feel like, well, as long as I put oh, I put I, I got a house for you, you shouldn't have nothing else to say because I'm your mama. She one of them hoes. Let me see if um because that one didn't have no sound. But she was on there talking about fuck your ugly ass kids, pussy ass hoe. And I'm sitting here saying, girl, are you I ain't that ain't even a question. Why would I be asked her if she's stupid? Because she is. She definitely is. I swear they should have never gave this whole no no stage. I hate that oh she got on love and hip hop. That was the worst thing, girl. Please. All right, here you go. Let me make sure y'all can see it. Here you go. This her. This her. And your kids is ugly. I've been holding that in for centuries. Your children ugly as Who the fuck your baby daddy is, girl? They're the type of kid that God gives that ain't good people. You don't even know how to rap. P felt sorry for you because P known to do charity. We got, we got, we got his back. I got this right, so I brought you a little piece of the, uh, the album merch. You know what I'm saying? New denim tears. You feel oh. me? Okay. New denim tears. Oh, sh you feel me? Oh, who just out across the front? Who oh, back? I'll set tears. Hold on, chat. Let me put that down. right there for you. Oh, Let this be known. He felt sorry for you. See, one thing about P, he like to give back. He like to help people. We seen when you was dirty with them children with no shirt on and them dry and them pissed that pimple. We seen that. We the people seen that. Now you don't got you a little a little back end because you don't got no check because you still like a hot <laughs> bitch. You be looking cheap. I'm gonna post a picture of your stupid <laughs> and your kids is ugly. I've been holding that in for centuries. There you go. Mm-hmm. And your kids is ugly. That's directly speaking negatively of a child. But y'all ain't gonna say nothing, though. Y'all ain't gonna say nothing about that. But when I was exposing the fact that Rockhead is neglecting Junior, y'all want to shoot over there speaking ill of a child. Shut your ugly ass up, you stupid bitch. This the one you need to be mad at. But no, that's too much like right. That is too much like right. On there flexing and she don't even realize she got on offset shirt. I hope Nikki call and curse that whole out and make her cry. This, for people who are wondering who Akbar V is, Akbar V is Candy Burris, Candy Baritone Burris. Every man wants a woman where him and her could just go hang. Candy Baritone Burris, that's her cousin. She got her own love in Hip Hop Atlanta one time, of a, a, a couple of uh, seasons, and here we have it. Here we have it. Candy Baritone Burris, that's her cousin. Candy Baritone Burris. That's her cousin. Yeah, girl, Candy, do F with her. Candy just bought our house for her and them churn. So Candy mess with her. Candy just bought our house for her and them churn. Yes, ma'am. Every man wants a woman where him and her could just go hang. We have Candy Baritone Burris to thank for Agba V. Oh, yes. Candy Baritone Burris is the reason why we are stuck with Akbar V, if you want to know who she is. Thanks to Candy Baritone Burris. Mm-hmm. Yep. Shout out to, to Baritone Burris. Shout out to Baritone Burris. I'm done with it. Let's move on. I don't spend too much time on this ugly asshole anyway. Let's move on. That's the reason why we messed up as a society. I'm over it. I'm done. I'm tired. Now, let's go get with the diddler. I think the diddler is who we need to be dealing with next, huh? Oh, no. let's go. Yeah, let's go get the diddler and let's go get Al. Be sure. Al better be sure. Oh, 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 Diddy, don't come pop him upside his motherfucking head because he's doing too much. He doing too much. At this point, I'm not even mad if the diddler come put him put him on another long, long night's sleep. 
I wouldn't be mad if Bit if Bitler come rock this nigga back to sleep because he's doing too much. Now he want to come out with all of this ugly ass shit. He a cloud chaser. I don't care what nobody say. You ain't nothing of a man. You let another man take your child, and now you cloud chasing. Now he on here talking about how it was a miracle on 34th Street that he was able to get through what he went through with the all uh, with coming out of that coma because you know Didler was trying to send him on that to his final resting place. You know, Didler wanted this Negro at his fine final resting place, but by God, he said it was God. So he said that they're going to use his case for science or something like that because he was able to beat the odds because Didler was going to get him up out of there permanently, but God had other plans or something like that. Girl, whatever, whatever. We got to go get this girl. Hold on. And I'm sitting over here saying, boy, you acting like Diddy. Like the diddler still won't pop you upside your motherfucking head. You need to sit your ass down. Okay? That's what I was thinking, but, you know, who am I? Oh, girl, I didn't want to go over here. Matter of fact, I could go back to where I was. Hold on. Girl, when I seen this, I said, LB, go lay down. Go lay down, LB Shore. Let's go get L. Let's get L off of here. Oh, before we get L, one more video on Oct. Akbar had to tell us her back not big. Her bike is not big. So I have to show that part. Because Akbar wanted her, us to know that she don't have no big bike really quickly. Let's get her really quickly. Ain't this big back, back about me. And then, you see how little my back is? My back is so fucking little. My waist is so fucking small. My is so fat, not hard. And nigga that you fucking on now, I can take that. That's how G I am. This, how, this is further proof. Further proof that the older folks want to be the children. You telling a 26-year-old child that any nigga she messing with, you can take them. These are some dangerous ass women. Do you hear me? These are some dangerous. These are the women who are in competition with them churn. She on here saying any nigga you fucking with, I could take him. You are 49 years old, you old whore. And you telling a 26-year-old girl that you could take her nigga? This is very dangerous. And these are the women who raising the next generation of girls. Oh, yes. I would take that fuck the dog shit out of him, make him spend a dog bag on me, and send him back to your dumb ass. Like, ain't nothing happy. I'm going to drop the low. I want to see how bad y'all hoes is. I want to see who run that level for real. I want to see if y'all out of town a hoe really run that now. Y'all going to have to show me. I don't be liking y'all hoes anyway. Be Baby, I'm not signing nothing that look like 360. That's why I ain't signed. If you really don't want, you really want to know, I ain't signed. And that look like three sixty. That whole sign, and she still ain't got nothing going. Who is talking? Let, let me be real. Who listen to gloss? Ain't nobody come to see her. Ain't nobody. Who listen to you, bitch? Nobody. Literally nobody. No, never, ever, ever. Nobody listens to this bitch. Nobody come to see gloss. Y'all just talk. Y'all know y'all like come to see her. Y'all just want to talk and beat my ears up at that point. But let's be real. Ain't nobody come to see y'all. Who come to see her? Girl, you ugly and you and your friend. Both y'all look like too slow. And y'all like y'all mama smoke dope. Y'all whole like y'all whole came out ugly. My mama smoke dope, but she'll look like y'all. And I ain't come out looking like y'all whole. You done came to one of y'all show in some coach. My daughter don't need well coach. You done stepped out with some coach. Cause you sound a pee and coach. First y'all say y'all hoes say lap dog. Do you not know that's not a flex? Like it's not like a, a, a lap dog getting treated better than any other dog. Y'all be saying lap dog. Do y'all not be knowing what y'all be saying? That would make me feel like y'all stupid in real life. Hey, he was trying to say that uh y'all calling her a lap dog for Nikki, but that's the best dog to be. So she don't mind being a bitch. A dog, she just uh don't mind being a lap dog. Girl, this is a dangerous bitch. Her first go-to is, oh, I take your nigga, F on him, and send him back. This is somebody old enough to be these boys' grandmothers. This is a dangerous bitch. Somebody put it in the comments. She probably asleep after her children, her, her daughter's old man. It's giving China. It's giving Krishan's sister China. She'll do that. Oh, yeah. She'll definitely sleep with her boy, her daughter's ex-boyfriend or something like that. 
Yep, and these the ones raising children. And you wearing coach, bitch. My daughter don't even wear coach. Where is your daughter, bitch? I spent too much time on this. Oh, get her off of here. Let's go get LB Shore. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm done with her. Let's get off of here. Moving on. My medical case is almost a scientific study related to how sick I was or became miraculously. And, um, that it's going to be a scientific study the fact that I survived. Uh, those of you that know only by the grace of God, however you refer to our higher power, God, Allah, Yahweh, when you're a transplant patient, you are subject and required as a mandate to follow up on your, your medical everything. Labs, liver, kidney, heart. So, you know, to assure that you are walking bill of health as much as you can be under the circumstances. So, exercise, diet. I think you at the gym. Keeping a positive frame of mind. So, I'm grateful for a lot of things. Again, understanding actually how. how sick I actually was. And all of the things working against me in concert from complete organ failure to my whole system shutting down, only my body running on machines. So trust and believe it wasn't just a liver transplant. Mm. But I'm fighting. Maybe that's that money earned Mount Vernon thing, but I know it's God. Stay uplifted. No matter what's going on in the world, keep keep the young people in prayer. Big shout out to Quincy, Devin, Lil B. My medical case is almost a scientific study. So that was Al B. Sure telling y'all that all his organs had shut down. I don't know if Didler uh, found somebody to put some damn fentanyl or some goddamn rat poison or whatever it was, they had that nigga fucked up. You know what I'm saying? And now he said his study, his his recovery is going to be a scientific study. Well, of course, because medicine is a practice, so it makes sense. But, you know, I'm glad that he's alive. I'm just saying stop trying to be so visible because this is probably not the best thing. In my opinion, I could be wrong with Diddler being on edge like that. He might crash out and say, fuck it, I'm going down, everybody going down with me. You know what I'm saying? Personally, I wouldn't be on there saying that type of stuff. I would just be laying low like I've been doing. But y'all know how I feel about celebrities. I don't like none of them. So there you go. All right, get off of here. So uh y'all, y'all can put um L B sure in your prayers if you want to. Do not clog up the prayer line with L B sure. Just say one a little one, two, yin, 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 and then go ahead on, you know what I'm saying? And leave it alone. Don't do not clog up the prayer lines. Playing with L B Sure. That's not what we're doing tonight. We got pressing issues to pray about, and L B Sure ain't one of them because it sounds like he likes living life on the edge, if you ask me. Just my opinion. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on. So 50 Cent talks about how uh 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 what's this girl name? Young Miami. He said that you know, you know, he his old lady or ex-baby mama or baby mama, well, he called her a little S worker. And then, uh, you know, Young Miami is in on it too. But he said he liked Young Miami. He don't believe she was in on that type of time. Let's get into it. So let's listen, listen to the video. With a W. Like, I'm on. But define that, though. Like, I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> she said she's had a whore. conversation with somebody that day. I said, I'm really. Like, I'm on, like, with a, with a W. Like, I'm on. But define that, though. Like, I'm on. So she says she's not a hoe. A hoe could just be like, hey, ho. No, no, no. She's a whore. That is an actual person who actively goes out and pass out coochie like Halloween candy. That's what she's clarifying. Now she says she think it was taken out of context. So this is what she had to say. She said, I think this got taken out of context. It's a gay slur. What's up, whore? Is something my gay cousin always said to me. It's C-U-N-T. It's a slang that we said to each other that what that's what I was trying to explain to Jason because he's gay and he got what I was trying to say. 
I'm not a prostitute. I never sold coochie a day in my life. And I hate how this is getting spun. Girl, you said I am a whore with the W. What other way can we take that? I don't care what you and your cousins never used to be sitting around the house and doing. What else can we take? How? What other way can we take that? You said with the W. That puts emphasis on, let me go ahead and go, go ahead and get his coochie around. What else can we take from that? So now 50 Cent responded and says, it's okay to be a whore. Just make sure you're being overpaid. See a sucker, catch a sucker, 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 dry. You go, girl, L, little sex worker, LOL. <laughs> That's 50 Cent. Now you want to clarify because the diddler is under the watch of the uh, people. Now you want to clarify. Yeah, BB, she could have kept that to herself. Nobody even asked her for this. Literally nobody asked her for this. But here it is, young Miami. That's Miami. Young Miami, Carisha, please. Carisha, please shut your ugly ass up because now you're doing the most. Please, Carisha. Now let's get into this. So academics, DJ academics, he broke down this case. Remember I told you guys yesterday when we were talking about this case? I said that there's no intention of Diddy going to jail. I believe that these folk is trying to get him to be assassinated in a court of public opinion. Therefore, uh, henceforth, taking all his money from him and him not being able to come back. Kind of like Russell Simmons. Remember I told y'all that? So now it's been going around that they're saying Tyrone Blackburn, the man who is out here filing all these lawsuits, the, he's the black dude who did all of T.I. and Tiny lawsuits that went nowhere. The girls against T.I. and Tiny. Remember the girl said T.I. tried to put his size six and a half foot in her cooch? He did them. So DJ Academics is going to break down why he feels like this is some bull. It says, let's get into it. DJ Academics recently took to his took his investigative skills to YouTube Live, unraveling the narrative behind lawyer Ty Tyrone Blackburn's lawsuit uh, against some of the biggest names in the biz. In a recent episode that's got everyone buzzing, DJ Academics dropped some major insight into the world of celebrities' lawsuit, and it's a story that reads like a Hollywood script. Remember I told y'all that? We talked about that yesterday when we were talking about Ed Lover. The twist began when Lil Rai reached out to DJ Academics for his telephone number, and not even half an hour later, someone claiming to be Christian Combs' bodyguard hit Act up with a track alleging it features Christian Combs spitting bars over a Cassie song. This bizarre phone call that sent DJ Academics down a rabbit hole, leading to the spotlight being thrown on the lawyer, Tyrone Blackburn, known for his salacious lawsuits against celebs. Academics didn't hold back, shedding light on Blackburn's history of suing high-profile names like Diddy, Nicki Minaj, T.I. and Tiny. Uh, and then it says, according to Academics, Blackburn's MO seems less about justice and more about what looks like a shakedown aiming to squeeze out celebrities, I'm sorry, settlements from these stars. Remember I said that. Let's break it down. Diddy's yacht drama. Blackburn re represents a woman claiming she was S.A. on Diddy's yacht. Yet something's off as academics points out the lack of federal investigation despite the alleged victim's willingness to cooperate. Christian Combs' accusation, another lawsuit thrown at Diddy's son, Christian Combs over an alleged assault on a yacht. Academics noted that Lil Rod was also present that night. Tiffany Haddish, skit gone wrong. Academics brought to light a clip from the Jason Lee show to read the rest of the law, to read the rest, log on to ballalert.com. All right, let's get into DJ Academics theory about this, because let me say this before we get into it. Him mentioning, and I haven't heard it, but him mentioning that Tyrone uh, Blackburn reached out to him and then somebody who's claimed they Christian Cone's bodyguard reached out to him and he's saying it reads like a Hollywood script. Did I not tell y'all the world is a stage? These celebrities are puppets and we are the audience. Did I also not tell y'all it's given, let's just tear him down publicly in the court of public opinion? Let's get into what Act had to see. Pause my phone. Say, yo, Act. Don't know who this person is. Actually, they called a few times at the answer. They, they said, hey. They said, call me back. I was expecting a call anyway. I said, whatever. I called the number back. The number was very, it was, it was, it, the person identified themselves as Christian Combs' bodyguard. 
which I probably assume is a lie. Now, uh, the, the person did say at the end, keep this anonymous. <laughs> but I have to say who this person purports to be because I feel it's a play. I feel it's a play. I feel it's a play. Let me tell you how the conversation went. Like, this is the same day as the lawsuit is officially filed against Christian Combs and the one I just bought like two seconds ago that we're going to look at. Claiming that Christian Combs' number calls my phone. Oh, I don't. So you have the son of Diddy. Our word is some woman on a yacht. So I get this call. Say, hey, what's up? So I'm the bodyguard of Christian Combs. Got some information you might want to know. Actually, I thought they were going to try to, if send me anything, send me something to vindicate him. But the person was, I, they didn't give me a name. No. Say, hey, we have audio of Christian Combs on the yacht with the young woman that was R-worded right before it happened. Now, let me tell you this. I was born at night, just not last night. The next thing they told me threw me for a loop. They said, so at first I was like, I thought it's happening on a yacht. Listen, because the person said they were in a studio. They said, we have a, we have a song that Christian Combs was recording at the time. I said, wait a minute. I thought this was on a, the son of Diddy. Our word is some woman on a yacht. Oh, hell no. A yacht. They said the yacht is in the, the, the studio is in the yacht. I said, uh, okay. So what what's what this recording? They said, just to let you know, this isn't the recording where the girl is screaming. That's mentioned in Lawson. I'm like, okay. So what is this audio of? It's a audio of King Combs rapping to, and this is where I was like, they think I'm stupid. King Combs rapping to the beat of Cassie. Me and you. Come on. Come on, bro. Come on. You're telling me King Combs is on a yacht, pulls up his daddy's old girlfriend's like, by the way, this would have happened a long time ago, so it would be before all these losses. But pulls up his daddy's old girlfriend's hot song, saying, let me get the beat. Let me freestyle over it. And then says, oh, shit, I got the spirit of puffing me. A yacht. They said, the yacht is in the, the, the studio. Now, let me go our word, this girl. That's next to me. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Now, they sent me the song. They sent me the song. Now, I don't even know if this is a real song. I don't know if it's AI. Everything seemed cryptic. I don't know what this is. I'm going to play it for you. After I got off the phone with them, they said, give us a couple hours. We're going to send you the, 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 the um, song. Lo and behold, I'm at the Drake concert. I look at my phone. I got it. I haven't even listened to it yet, but they did play me a snippet on the phone. So this is what they're telling me that right before this lawsuit that came about because of just not just King Combs on a yacht who, who allegedly R worded a girl. He was in there rapping over Cassie's beat. And this is the song. Here we go. Yeah. I can't play the music. Let me say this before we move on. So what he's saying is he got a call or email or text or whatever from someone claiming to be Christian Combs' bodyguard. And they were speaking about the R word situation that happened on a yacht with another girl who's with Tyrone Blackburn. And what he's saying is they don't have that tape where the girl was screaming, but they have a tape of Lil Christian or Christian Combs over there rapping on Cassie's beat for me and you. And it's giving Hollywood script. Let me say this. I do believe somebody reached out to DJ Academics because they understand the power of media is through YouTubers. Let's just talk about it. And he's on Rumble. Shout out to Rumble, mind you. Shout out to Rumble. Drop my Rumble link since we on here. Can somebody drop my Rumble link? Shout out to Rumble. Shout out to Rumble. Shout out to Rumble. You know what I'm saying? So he's not on YouTube. He's actually on Rumble where you can play music, which is why he hence went to play the music. So listen, what he's saying is he's saying, um, let me pin this. He's saying that they sent that to him so that he can go with the move. That's what it's given. He, I put, I pinned my rumble link to the top, you guys, to the chat. 
Um, he's saying that they sent the rump, they sent the music, the music, so he can go with the move and then push that out to the masses. The news don't come from the media no more. The news do not come from the media no more. It comes through us. YouTubers, bloggers, vloggers. That's who, the, that's who the news come from. Actually, the news listens to us and then go back and report it on the news. Debate with your mom. I'm telling you what really happens. Okay? So I believe that. But you have to be very careful, Eck, when you're doing this type of shit because now it seems as if you're trying to advocate for the fact that Diddy is innocent and this is all made up some type of Hollywood script. That's where you lose me. But let me let him finish. But that's why he loses me, y'all. Because you're trying to say because that happened that this got to be true. And that don't go like that. This is a real song. What? Now, I'm going to need y'all to help me because if, if these are spliced vocals, if, if, if they, I, like, I don't have no idea how this came about. Here we go. Uh, uh, bad little bitty. I can't play the music. If I was on only on Rumble, which I am streaming live from right now, if I was only on Rumble, I could play it. But, you know, YouTube don't play that. That's why y'all need to follow me on Rumble while we listen to this or don't listen to it. Follow me over there on Rumble where we can have, I, you know, I'm a little DJ Vu over there. I'll be playing some music. Shout out to my Rumble crew. Uh, we be having a good time over there on Rumble. So, you know what I'm saying? Now, this person told me specifically, this song, they're, remember, they're recording this song on the yacht. They say this song is playing in the background when just no, I keep saying Justin, when King Combs is actually penetrating this woman and forcing himself onto her and she's screaming. And here's the funny part. There's audio, which I'm like, who would record a woman? Uh, now, I'm going to need you to help me, because if, if these are men screaming. Remember, they thought like like there was some fucking erroneous video of in here, like, oh, what about that video? No, it's not about that's that's a girl crying over some other bullshit. That's not nobody getting sexually assaulted. But even if let's say on the unfortunate incident that's happening, who hits recording and screaming? Remember they thought like like there was some fucking erroneous video of in here, like, oh, what about that video? No, it's not about that's that's a girl crying over some other bullshit. That's not nobody getting sexually assaulted. But even if, let's say, on the unfortunate incident that's happening, who hits recording screaming? Lawyer, who seems to be very crooked, an ambulance chaser, and nothing more than the hip-hop Benjamin Crump. He's like mm. Gloria Allred. Let, actually, not Benjamin Crump. Because actually, no, no, my bad with Benjamin Crump. No, um, you're right. You said Gloria it right. Gloria Allred. No, he said it right with the hip hop Benjamin Crump. Ben Crump ain't win a goddamn thing. He just started winning uh civil cases recently. Ben Crump was over there with uh Trayvon Martin ain't did shit. They kicked him off the case. Ben Crump ain't nothing but a goddamn African who we think is nigga that they put in front of us to make it seem like X, Y, and Z. He said it right the first time. He's a hip hop Tyrone Blackburn, Benjamin Crump. He said it right the first time. He ain't no different from Tamika Mallory and all of them. He said it right the first time. Hip hop Benjamin Crump. You said it right, but go ahead, Egg. The black version. Just ambulance chasing. I personally believe that phone call I got was orchestrated, and this is just my opinion, by the people who are in the background trying to gain as much press as possible from these lawsuits, trying to get or force settlements which I don't think is going to come because if I'm Diddy and his team at this point and his family, why the fuck, like, I paid Cassie and niggas is investigating me. Why the fuck am I paying y'all? However, they seem to keep coming incessantly and only one thing and one person is connected to all of this shit. Let lawyer, who seems to be very crooked, let me make my next case. Here we go, chat. Now, here's another thing. I was the moment so so little so here's the thing. By the way, you know how that phone call came about? Little Rod DM me. I'm putting things together. He DM me randomly yesterday. Remember, I told you I DM them on stream like almost a month ago. Like, bro, come on stream and tell me what's going on. He responds like three weeks later, just saying hi. Doesn't respond again. Basically. He messaged me yesterday, and he says, what's your number? Randomly. I give him my number. When I give him my number, I, I said, hey, text me before you call, blah, 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 blah. He, 
doesn't call for like over half an hour. Let me make my next case. Here we go, chat. Now, here's another thing. I was the moment so so little so here's the thing by the way you know how that phone call came about little rod dm me i'm putting things together he dm me randomly yesterday remember i told you i dm them on stream like almost a month ago like bro come on stream and tell me what's going on he responds like three weeks later just saying hi doesn't respond again basically he messaged me yesterday and he says what's your number randomly i give him my number when I give him my number, I, I said, hey, text me before you call, blah, 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 blah. He doesn't call for like over half an hour. Let me make my next case. I go back to the text thread. He unsent the message. I said, give me your number. So now, I like, by the way, when you're like popular, whatever, like sometimes hackers will hack one person's thing and ask everybody for their numbers to get their numbers to try to hack them. So, so I'm like, wait, is he hacked? Because, like, sometimes hackers will ask your numbers. So, anyway, I unsent my number. And then I said, bro, you're trolling. Like, what's going on with you? You're, you're trolling. He doesn't respond again. 20 minutes go by. That's when that random phone number calls me. Is it easy? Like, come on. This, is, this ain't like fucking chess we're playing, my nigga. This is like bingo. It's easy to surmise that Little Rod is working in cahoots with whoever that had this audio, I think at the behest of their attorney, to try to fuel the media, the black media conglomerate to keep torching Diddy. I go back to the text thread. He right, unsent the message. That was the last I said, slide. Somebody said, Jen, I think it was Jen said she was talking about, well, she said that Ack was speaking about when he had the girl screaming in the house. I covered that story. You talking about his situation with his essay case. I think that's what you were saying, Jen. When you were talking about, he said, when he said uh, something about the girl screaming in the background, he was talking about his own personal case. Probably. Let me say this, y'all. We have to understand two things can be true at once. First of all, act is given cleanup. It's given, let me use my platform to put this out there so y'all can start thinking it ain't all that it is. When the fact of the matter is, even if it's not all that it is, it is something. I personally want Diddy to go down because I seen what he did to black people. I don't give a damn. I don't care how they take him down. They took R. Kelly down on some other shit. I feel like Diddy should go down the same way. That's personally. But it seems to me like what Ak is doing is like, oh, yeah, well, because this happened and that happened and they hit me up behind the scenes on some shit, which I believe happened. He it, it gives off to me like you're the cleanup man for the whole Diddy situation. And because this happened over here and this is set up over here, then all of this got to be a setup over there. When the two don't have to necessarily be mutually exclusive, you could have a situation where they're trying to paint a narrative using you, but you could also have a situation where he's he's guilty, may not be of this, but of something. I'm talking about Diddy. I'm not talking about the son. You just got to be careful with this. You just got to be careful with it. But I understand what he's saying because I haven't gotten no celeb sources, but I get sources from people all the time. And they will behind the scenes be like, yo, voodoo, look, don't tell nobody, but woo -doo, woo -doo, woo -doo, woo. let me send you this, that, and the third. So I understand that magnitude of it, but that don't mean that the two are mutually exclusive. But I get what he's saying. Um, Like I said, you just got to be careful with that. Because now it seems like you're the cleanup man for Diddy. Because DJ Academics is the ear to the streets when it comes to the hip-hop community. Period. Point blank. We know that from when he was doing the drill rap edition and all that stuff. DJ Academics is the biggest platform for the hip-hop community. Period. Point blank. So his word, he get on rumble and said what he's saying, or he put his two together, it's going to heal. It's going to ring out. So you just got to be careful with that. But again, I feel like the two can exist at the same time and not be mutually exclusive. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. The two can exist at the same time and not be mutually ex exclusive. But um, they say Diddy got dirt on Act too. Oh no. Maybe who knows, child? Who knows? Who knows? 
I think he is. I don't know who bigger than who bigger than act on the streets on the on the um blogger streets for hip hop. Who bigger than act? Because before it was act, it was Vlad. Niggas ain't watching Vlad no more. I don't know. Maybe not even real life street stars because they don't really deal with hip hop. Like hip hop, I think it's Diddy. I mean, I think it's act. You guys like the video? We don't have enough likes, y'all. Six hundred and ninety three likes, almost two thousand. No, two thousand guys, almost uh. A thousand and something people watching y'all like the video please 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 like the video joe button yeah you might have a you might yeah you might have a case with joe button yeah you might have a case with joe button but you got to understand too joe button only have the old heads the youngins they watching act they don't like joe button the, i'm talking about the little young niggas coming up they ain't watching joe button because they feel like joe button is a has-been keep that in mind but joe you're right joe button is they like that. They like that. I ain't gonna lie. You right. You right. You right. I ain't gonna lie on you. You right. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I would say Joe and Act. Joe got the mature hip hop heads, and Act got the churn. But they they like this. You know what I'm saying? They like what what. You right. You right. All right, you guys. Now that we off that, let's move on to Rockhead. Now you guys know that Rockhead uh is a special person. I might have to screenshot this so we can read it. Well, let me see if I can pull it up on my story and we can stop it and just read it like that. Hold on. So first of all, let me say this, y'all. Rockhead, uh, Chris Shine. Chris Animals, if you're on here, it's your turn. Come on up, Chris Animals. It's your turn. If you're on here, I need all the Chris Animals up here. I know y'all been hiding in the bushes. It's your turn. Come on up here. Now, first and foremost, let's start off with this. First of all, all y'all buying all this shit for her child because she ain't shit of a mother and she's over there unboxing all of this shit thanking y'all for buying the shit she should have bought for her own fucking child oh yeah we gonna talk about it oh yeah i know we spoke about it before but i feel like we need to um revisit the situation because i don't like the fact that y'all have to buy the baby passes diapers all the shit that the bitch should have been bought for the baby herself. But y'all would sit up here and let her call you ugly and you broke and you this, then the third. And now you the one got to go over there and buy for this child. Y'all hoes as slow as turtles. Let's go get the story. Look at her unboxing this shit. Hold on. This is Oh, the gift set. I love doing all the yes, all these colors. I, I think that would be nice. And Elise. Okay, Elise. Thank you. The baby seven. What is it? He's seven months old, y'all. He got a walker, but he can't hold his neck up. Shout out to y'all. Okay. Take a note. It's the own three of the same lady. I thought she called y'all broke. Remember she said y'all broke? I remember Elise, that. Elise, thanks, Elise. Y'all remember she said y'all broke? Mind y'all. Now y'all over here, the baby pappy. Oh, he's a rock star. Thank you, Lee. This is so sweet of you. Yeah. I don't know 
why she consists she insists on playing that trash ass shit. I don't know why. City to city, look at pretty. City to city. What? But she called y'all broke, Chris Animals. When y'all was trying to tell her not to spend 30000 or 40000 on the passy, whole time the baby ain't got no pampers, she said y'all was broke. Oh, yes, she did. Oh, yes, she did. And, and, and now y'all over there being the pappy. Out of pappy. That's what it's giving. Out of pappy. Y'all hoes stupid. Oh, yes. Anybody who bought us something, you slow as a turtle like her. You stupid. Ain't no motherfucking way. And y'all think y'all slick. Instead of sitting up here saying the bitch ain't shit, y'all would rather sit up here and go, oh, let's just buy her the things that her baby need. But we not going to act like he need them, though. We just going to buy it for him. We just going to buy it for him. We ain't going to act like he need it. Look how she talked to him. Look, 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 look. Hold on. Let me show y'all something. Look how she talked to her fans. Hold on. Y'all got to see this. Look. It's just my business, bitch. Let's back up. Who said that? You sound like a dumbass bitch. You ugly ass bitch. That's why I'm removing you. I do know why the fuck I'm crying, you ugly whore. Didn't I tell you why I'm crying? I'm just not going to tell you why I'm crying. And I can tell you why I'm crying. It's just my business, bitch. Who said that? Yep. That's your girl. That's your dog. That's your dog. Meanwhile, look at the look at Papa Blue, who looked like he ain't had a rot, a pot to piss in, no window to throw out since he since he come in the world. He looked like a bum ass, nothing ass nigga. He round here talking about Good Friday at the circus. All the kids and grandkids uh step right up. They had to Photoshop Junior, Junior, huh, Junior. He la be do be da maluminati into the dog on um the uh the 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 the, the walker because we ain't seen it yet. See, he just posted the walker with no baby in it, talking about how Junior gonna be running and racing. We ain't seen Junior sit up yet, so how he gonna get in the walker? So what they do? Photoshop Junior down to the walker and look at the daddy looking like he smell like a pissy mattress. Look at him. He looked like he used to pee in the bed. You know what I'm saying? That's that's blue face daddy, girl. What you mean who that is? Girl, that's blue face daddy. That's blue face daddy smelling like a pissy mattress, allegedly. Yep, that's him. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Faking robberies. Yes, auction queen. <laughs> yes. 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 Junior don't even be having t-shirts. Let alone, you feel what I'm saying? Oh, that. But there's more. Look at, look at her. Look at um, Carlissa. Last piece of chicken. I said, ain't your mama about to be on her way to no, pick not you up? There's one. You know, you, you know, she just be on here saying anything. There's one of her talking about how the baby looked just like um, fucking blue face. But before that, let's go look, look at her getting shirts and stuff. Listen, this how I know you, Christian Mahoes. Y'all hold stupid, but y'all ain't slow. No, y'all slow, but y'all ain't stupid. Let me take that back. Y'all is slow. Y'all just not stupid. She opened gifts from her fans, clothes, socks, and bibs. If she was a great mother, why y'all got to buy her clothes, socks, and bibs, Chris Animals? Chris Animals, if, if she's such a great mother, why are y'all buying clothes, socks, and bibs? Let's get into it. Again, they ordered some more. Got more gifts. I'm about to open up and see what's inside. This should be cool. So what? If this hold on change that beat yeah. down, the battery and them fucking girl. Trying to set my fucking phone up. Okay. Oh, I just got some socks. Hmm. Thank you. It's beautiful. What the note say? Hey, Rockets. And Junior, is tea time with Latrice on IG? Love y'all. Praying for y'all. For Sabrina Birch. Thank you. Here he is. Okay. I'm going to okay. start doing this more often. I should have did this when it started coming because, trust me, you got a lot of stuff at my other house. Mm. There she go lying her ugly ass snaggle to lying through that snaggle to he got all this at the other house. So why he don't have it where he resides, you stupid hoe? 
He got all this at the other house. Why don't you go get in the car or get January and March to bring that shit over to the house so he can have a t-shirt on? We never see him with clothes on. Never. If he got all this at the other house, it wouldn't take you nothing to get March or January to get in the car, pack his little shirts and, and socks and all of that and bring it over there because you's a lie. You lying through that gap, that permanent gap in your tooth, bitch. It's so cute. Um... Oh, they got him some clothes. Girl. Oh, he's getting bigger for stuff like this. Oh, these are actually cute. Oh, you got some taste. Okay, thank you. Socks, little onesies with polo. Okay, polo Kylie. Do another one. This is fun. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Bibs, teething bibs. Bibs. Okay. Thank you. Let's see who got him this. Um. Y'all hoes ain't sleeping. Uh, usually it comes with a nigga and they order some more. But more gifts. Fish animals, you hoes ain't sleep. Y'all know what y'all doing. Y'all around there making sure this girl have everything she need for Junior. Junior. Her Junior. He la be do be da maluminati. Can't you tell? He needs love. Oh, you can tell he need love. That's why y'all over there buying onesies, bibs, socks, all the things he need. But you bitches to get on here and act like she's mother of the year. Meanwhile, you down at the local Kmart making sure you can get onesies, bibs, and socks. I see right through you, bitches. I see right through you hoes. Oh, yes. I see right through you, bitch. You catch your ass down to the local family dollar and got them all uh, that pack of onesies that's $5.99 or $4.99 or whatever. Then you went down the hall, down the aisle, got them three pair of socks for a dollar. Y'all hoes think y'all slick. Y'all went and got them bibs. You get three bibs on the rack for $3. Y'all went and got them bibs. One say mommy, one say big boy, one say I'm getting big or something like that. Y'all think y'all sick. Oh, she, she, she's doing so well. Well, why is y'all buying socks, bibs, and, and onesies? And he's seven months old. Girl, Junior almost 25. Why is y'all not, why y'all buying socks, bibs, and... But y'all want us to believe that we tripping for coming out saying she messed up. Oh, yeah. But y'all want us to believe that we tripping for coming out saying she messed up. She ain't shit of a mother. But we the ones that's wrong. But y'all the ones buying socks, bibs, and, 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 and onesies. Y'all hoes ain't as smart as you think you is, bitch. I'm clocking your teeth all the way from over here. Is clocking your teeth. I've been clocking your team. What is this? Oh, this definitely thing. look look like Javon. Girl. To me. He looked like Javon. Definitely. Go look at his hands. His hands is a giveaway. Like lately, I've been like, mm, yeah, that's the hands. He definitely got them hands like um Javon and my son. He definitely got them hands. They already look like grown man hands. It used to scare me when he was a baby. He probably gonna be like six five. You gotta think, cause Krishan's tall. You gotta think that baby probably about to hit six five ish. He definitely look look like Javon. Carlissa will say anything to be relevant. And this is why I never really reported on Carlissa. You know, Carlissa and the lady, uh, uh, what's Rick Ross' baby mama? I never report on her because it's given. I'm. It's not natural. It's given. I'm. I'm trying too hard. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Now you're going to get up here and lie to our face and say that he looked like Javon. And then when we squint our eyes, you talking about his hands? Tia Kemp. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about, Tia. I don't, I don't, I, it's, 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 it's not authentic. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really report on them hoes. So I don't report on Carlissa neither. But you want to tell us that Blue, not, not Blueface, 
Oh, uh, Krishan looks like Javon, which we all know is a damn lie. And then turn around and tell us, look at his hands. That's the shit I don't like. That's the shit I don't like. That is the shiz naive that I do not liz naive. I don't like it. I don't like it. Look at the daddy. Looking like somebody whipped his ass with a dog on bleach bottle. Look. Back at Papa Blue back at the circus. Someone tell him the difference between a carousel and a Ferris wheel. Girl. Look. Somebody bet the piss out him with a bottle of bleach in the head. Look. Check this out, Chuck. That bitch tried to send. Remember she uh uh whack was trying to kick out? Well she said, I got clothes here I can show you. She know ain't no clothes there. Every closet that bitch went to, two days prior was fucked up. My gut told me to clean up around there. That bitch opened up two, three closets thinking it was going to be some sticks in there. And it wasn't. That bitch tried to send everybody to jail that day. And I, all I said was, can you escort her out of my house, please? Get her up out of here. Oh, so she was trying to act like it was... It was Nigga, she ain't had no clothes. She knew, it was, she knew it was sticks in there. But she hadn't been there because at this point, they know I'm the owner. So if they open the closet and it's fucked up, it's the owners. Oh, Chuck, check this out, Chuck. That bitch tried to send everybody to the penitentiary. Y'all didn't even see the move. When she said, I got clothes here I can show you. She know ain't no clothes there. Every closet that bitch went to, two days prior was fucked up. So this is what Wack was saying. Back before, long before the pregnancy, long before all this, she was on Blue Girls Club. She did South Central Baddies. She did a couple of things. Wack had done cleaned out the house after all of the girls left. And basically, she was over there squatting. So Wack comes back to the house and was like, you got to go. She said, I ain't going nowhere. They end up calling the police. Blueface ended up letting her stay. But before that, the police was like, show us something that you to, to let us know you live here. Do you have clothes in the closet? Do you have mail? She said, yeah, I got clothes in the closet. So this is her bringing the police to the closet to show that she has clothes in there. But the gag is a couple of days before that, Wack hasn't already took everything out the closet. Now, Wax said she knows she never had no clothes there. What she was doing was trying to get us caught up because she know we had a bunch of blickies in the closet. So what she was going to do was act like she was looking for clothes. And then when the police get in there and see that there's actual blickies, then they go to prison. That's what Wack was saying. You see what I'm saying? So Wack was saying she's trying to make it seem like she was going to look for her clothes, but she never had clothes in that closet. She was going to try to show the pole clothes or the police that we had the blickies over there. That's what he was saying. You guys hit the like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Please. You know, but the only thing saved her that day was Blueface did come home and say that she could stay. This is getting into, yes, leader Pat. This is getting into her being a snitch. Listen to me. It is being alleged that she is an informer. We get into it. And I've been told y'all, at first I say she can't be a plant because she's stupid. Maybe she don't even realize she's being used because she's just being herself and they don't have to make her a plant. But then as time went by, we investigated her with a fraudulent slip saying that she, um, saying that she, uh, 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 unalive that man and then flipped it back and was like, oh, no, 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 no. I didn't mean to say it like that and all of that. We gonna get into it. Oh, yes. Hold on. We gonna get into it. She's a plant and she's she's an agent. I don't care what nobody see. She's a fucking agent. And that's why she ain't arrested. That's why the folk ain't around here looking for her. Look at Junior. Seven months old, you guys. Seven months old. Seven months old. We've already gone over the milestones. The last time we spoke about this bitch and the milestones say he should be up scooting, walking. Not walking, but you know what I mean? This is seven months old. Seven months. Seven months. Seven months. Don't let that go over your head. Seven months old junior. Seven months. I want y'all to keep that part in mind. He can't even hold his head up. How the hell he going to get in the walker? Somebody really tell me. If he can't hold his head up, how is he going to get in the walker? 
How you gonna get in the walker? Precious baby. He don't deserve it. He deserve a better mother and whoever the father is a better father. But how is he gonna get in the walker if he can't sit up? Yep. Seven months. I digress. Seven months. I digress. Seven months. I digress. Y'all got to hear that part now. This is a seven month old baby. And ain't a bitch going to get in my comments, even at replay game, and tell me some ugly ass shit about babies progress on different levels. It just depends. You don't get to say, boo. Every baby is different. No, bitch. Not this different. And I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with Junior. What I'm saying is he is not at the level he should be because his mother was allegedly a druggie and an alcoholic and chose herself and her nigga over her child prior to having this baby. I said what I said and I'm standing on it. I don't give a fuck. And a lot of the hoes who run there giving her all these props, y'all the same hoes got the same kind of kids. And I said what I said. And I said what I said. It's disgusting. It is freaking disgusting. And I said what I said. Now, I want to show you guys. Let me see where it's at. Hold on. I want to show you guys. So y'all know she underlied the man, right? Or no, I ain't going to say allegedly. She said she did. She said she did. She allegedly over unalived the man, but the boyfriend took the charge. The man was a Hispanic man and allegedly, 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 them people is looking for her. So this is what's going on. According to the sources, the people is saying that the people is looking for her. They some cartel type of people and they want her head. Not only that, they are also saying that she's a plant. But let's get into this first. It says, Krishan rocks. Life is in danger. Allegedly cartel associated members are now making open threats and they want her head for the death of their family member. This is getting scary. This is not a game. Translation, we do not send, uh, you know what, threats over the internet, especially to protect the informant. So, Mr. Feds, uh, we just want a Krishan autograph <laughs> written in the bitch's, <laughs> you know what, liquid, equal, that bitch, uh, that bitch bled my uncle, hashtag rabbit season, comment your thoughts. So, this is what they saying that he said, hold on, can I make this bigger? Can I make this bigger? Hold on. Can I make this bigger? Can I see it better on here? Damn it. I can't see it. It says... Oh, yeah. Well, this is in Spanish. So that's what they say in translation. We do not send threats over the internet. This is what the, 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 uh, the Hispanic people saying. This is the translation. We do not send threats over the internet, especially to protected informants let me read that again. We do not send threats over the internet, especially to protected informants. So, Mr. Feds, we just want a Krishan autograph written in the you know what's liquid equal that be bled my uncle. Hashtag rabbit season. This is allegedly what they said. I didn't say it. This is what they said, okay? So don't come over here talking crazy to me, Christian animals, you raggedy bitches. This is what they said, okay? So now, let's move on. Allegedly, Christian is an informant. Rumor is the, you know what, victim from 2019 identified as Geronimo Vasquez has connected, has, has connects to the cartel and they got eyes on her. Rock slipped in an interview, which I broke. Uh, a few years back, admitting to the unaliving uh, uh, of the man, but her ex Ronnie, who was her partner in crime, took the charge, but was later released after serving several months in jails. Mind you, shout out Captain for likes, shout out Captain for likes, shout out Captain for likes on Instagram. Y'all go follow them for this type of tea, okay? Detectives find rock and snitches 
it appears that both Krishan and Ronnie made some kind of a deal. It says, we all have been wondering why she is still free with four warrants and multiple assault lawsuits that is public knowledge. Story is still developing, but it's not looking good for Rock. She is a known snow shame in pill trafficker as well. She is on a four-year probation for possession charge in Oklahoma. So anybody who says this is Cap and Rock is innocent, y'all are delusional. Shout out Capping for likes on Instagram. Shout out Capping for likes on Instagram. Shout out Capping for likes on Instagram. Okay? Now. This is all alleged. I don't know what the hell going on. But what I will say is, I kept saying, I said it at first. I said, she might be a plant. But then I said, no, because I, I don't feel like they would have to really pay her because she's so slow and stupid. They don't even have to make her a plant. They just got to put her out there and let her be. Because she's going to do the work for free and not even realize she's doing it. But then as time went on and then she had the fraud and stuff, talking about, oh, when I unalive, oh, not my bad, not me, when my ex unalive the dude and you can see all in her face she was lying i said hold up that would make sense why she got all these charges and people ain't running down there to come get her she's definitely in my opinion what i believe to be a plant mm -hmm. remember when she got caught with the uh with the car in in blue's car she had drugs in that car how she got away on a federal charge with probation is still beyond me it's giving a plant. It's giving agent. It's giving fed. It's giving a uh, 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 informant. That's just what I believe. There's no way anybody who's regular would get off with probation on the charge that she had. Also, even the boyfriend took the charge. And he only did six months, but the charge wasn't even for the N-word. It was for him having a possession of a weapon. She has admitted online that she has gone back and forth from Baltimore to L.A. to get drugs and bring them back to Baltimore so that she can sell them there because they had better drugs. She said it, not me. She said it. Her and Ronnie used to do that all the time. So when Ronnie got up here and said, you really think you got my bitch, but I gave her to you. Tell my Blue. Blue also believed that she never stopped sleeping with Ronnie. Also, she tried to set Ronnie up. I mean, Blueface up with Ronnie and get Blueface unalive. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. She is a plant. She's an informant, in my opinion. She is doing what she came to do. Mess up these churn and have the old hoes. See, if this, this one backfired on y'all, um, powers that be. This one backfired on y'all. See, y'all thought she was going to come down here and have a chokehold on the churn. But it turns out she got a chokehold on all the old ass hoes who sit around, who with failed lives and failed relationships with their churn. This one backfired on y'all. Y'all might as well fire her as a plant. This one didn't work how y'all thought it was going to work. It ended up backfiring and going over on the old hoes. Because that's who the ones is over there that's real crescendo. Them young girls, they like her music, but they're not really tripping. It's the old hoes. Hey, uh, powers that be, go ahead and retract her, um, her, 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 her protection because this one backfired. It's a bunch of old ass hoes sitting around. You feel what I'm saying? Loving on Krishan, wishing they could live vicariously through her. Them hoes on their way out the door anyway. So, you know, it, this one didn't go the way y'all thought it was going to go. And I say what I said. And I stand on it. Ten toes. Now, go run back to your little corner platforms and, and, and drag. Oh, voodoo over there dragging the child. I ain't say nothing negative about that child. I'm talking about his nothing ass, ragged ass, allegedly, uh, uh, stained drawers filled ass mom. Allegedly, I didn't say it. That's what they said. They say her drawers be having stains in them. They say her drawers be saying on your mark. They say they got the stains be so hard between the legs. They be saying on your mark, get set. So I don't know what y'all think about this. What do you guys think about this? I believe she's an informant, a fed, a plant. I believe that. I also want to show you guys this. Um, remember Blue had went off on her? 
And that hoe was around here saying it's destiny. <laughs> when she thought she was going to make it without Blue, now she over there squatting in that man house. Y'all remember that? When she said, but Blue, it's destiny. It's not nothing to do with you. It's destiny. It's my destiny to be amazing. Remember? Y'all remember that? I remember that. Because I'm sitting here saying, and Blue saying, who the fuck is destiny? You think you destiny, child, bitch? And I say, sound about right. Sound about right. Sound about right. Let's go get it. Hold on. Tell her, Blue. All this time, y'all thought Blue was a horrible person. He ain't told a lie yet. Hold you gotta on. Talk to me. Stop calling me. No, stop. You're telling me stop. I, I took God's credit. Look, and... you're getting emotional. I can you call you a goofy ass bitch, too. What the fuck? You gotta talk to me. Stop calling me a goofy ass bitch. So you would have got seven tattoos. I can call you a goofy ass bitch ass. You would have got seven tattoos. Stop anybody? getting emotional. You would have got talking, seven tattoos to anybody. We're talking. You didn't even do music. Baby, are you listening? You know how that makes me feel? Cause it, that makes me feel like I wasted my whole fucking how? time. Every time I'm going into bullshit like reality if it TV, wasn't what, thinking, it oh, it's for rock. It's for rock. Rock gonna go crazy. You can't say you can anybody you're else. Destined for something, oh, bro. oh my god, he go with the destiny shit. No real shit. Who the fuck is your destiny's child, bitch? What the fuck are you talking about? You're destined for shit. You I mean, didn't. You ain't good. destiny's child, bitch. Like, stop with all the destiny. I, who said destiny? No, stop. You're telling me stop. I, I took God. Wait, when that nigga said, who the fuck is he? said, here she go with this destiny shit. Who the fuck is you, destiny child, bitch? Oh, my God. I lost it. I lost it when I watched it. Now, remind you, around this time, Blueface was the devil. Blueface was the worst person on this face of earth. So all they heard was him calling her a bitch and saying it ain't got nothing to do with God. But when you peel back the layers of emotion and you look at this shit, Blue face ain't told one lie. Bitch, when you came to me, you had a backpack and some cleats. I'm the one set you up for where you at. Without me, you ain't shit. And that's a fact. That is a Fendi fucking fact. That is a fucking fact. So when he, when this whole scene up here hollering Destiny, he said, here she go with Destiny. Bitch, who is you, Destiny's child? I lost it. I watched the whole internet say he's so horrible. He need to go to jail. He's so horrible, but he ain't lying. Because guess what? That whole went stepped out on Destiny. And where is she back now at the Blue House? Oh. How far did Destiny get the bitch? How far did Destiny get this hoe? See, now I understand why he called her a bitch every other second. Because I now, now it makes me want to call. How far did Destiny get the bitch? How far did Destiny get this bitch? Please, somebody put it in the chat. Nowhere but around the corner and back at Blue House. Now she over there squatting, waiting on him to come home. He ain't lied. He ain't fucking lied. Let, let's run it back one more time. This was the funny part. God's credit. Look, and... you're getting emotional. I can be calling you a goofy ass bitch too. What the fuck? You gotta talk to me. Stop calling me goofy. So you would have got seven tattoos. I can call you a goofy ass bitch ass. You would have got seven tattoos. Stop to getting emotional. He was calling her a goofy ass bitch because he said, "Who? Why? He said you you acting like it ain't this and that the third, but bitch, you ain't got seven ta tattoos. You a goofy ass bitch. She is a goofy ass bitch for getting seven tattoos of anybody, even her child. You a goofy ass bitch. We're seven talking, tattoos of anybody. We're talking. You didn't even do music. Baby, are you listening? He, she didn't do music. That you heard him. You didn't even do music. She didn't do music. She, he put him on. He put her on that. That's why the whole can't write rap or none of that shit because he she never did music prior to Blue. You know how that makes me feel? Because that makes me feel like I wasted. After he done, this how he feeling. He feel like I put all this shit in you, bitch, and you gonna sit up here and tell me destiny. A whole fucking time. Every time I'm mind you, she's five months pregnant and smoking around this time. Oh yes, this is the same footage of her being five months pregnant and smoking. So just so y'all know, going into bullshit like reality if it TV, wasn't what? thinking, it oh, it's for rock, it's for rock. Oh yes, oh yes. That's when y'all thought Rockhead was really somebody she wasn't. If you wanna be somebody, if you wanna go somewhere. Rock gonna go crazy. You think you think anybody else? For you see the smoke? You see the smoke? Do you guys see the smoke? Look, you see the smoke? I see it. I see it. Paul Junior, he couldn't even bake good enough. This hoe was over there waking and baking while Junior was fighting for his life. He was probably in the womb windmilling. Oh, yes. He was probably in the womb windmilling as this whole smoke 
her life away like a choo-choo train. Oh, yes. Only you can prevent forest fires, bitch, but you can't prevent stopping your ass from smoking. Oh, yes. Poor Junior. Junior. Her Junior. He la be do be da maluminati. It's a miracle Junior made it, to be honest. Junior really is a, a miracle baby. Because of all of this, girl, please. Oh, oh my god, here go with the destiny shit. Not real shit. Who the fuck is your destiny's child, bitch? What the fuck is your child? No, you're destined for shit. You I mean, ain't you ain't destiny's child, bitch. Like, stop with all the destiny. Uh, who said destiny? No. Y'all heard it. Y'all heard it. So I don't have to say allegedly when I say the bitch was down there smoking and drinking because it's actual footage. If you just finding this out, welcome to the party. You're late. If you are just now finding this out, let's let's go get the footage. Hold on. If you are just not realizing that that whole been smoking like a train, like a choo-choo train the whole time she was pregnant with Junior, welcome to the party. You're late. Welcome to the party. You're late. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Welcome to the party. You're late. I have been hosting this party since the beginning of time, but come on in, sit down, have a drink, get something to eat. Everything is here for you. Welcome to the party. You're late. High is the cost of living. Poor Junior. Junior. Huh, Junior. He la be do be da maluminati. Can't you tell? Mm, mm, mm. He needs love. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If you can't tell Junior needs love, then love has never found you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mm hmm. Yep, that's why they round us sending care packages. See, Chris Animals, y'all think we stupid. That's why y'all round us sending care packages. That's why y'all scared in case somebody to do a wellness check over there. You know what I'm saying? At least he got a little t shirt or something when they come. Girl, y'all think we crazy, Chris Animals. Just the mole. Look at the mole. Could you imagine if I looked up and came out the wound and that was my mom, bitch, I, I say, put me back in. I don't want to come out here with her. Matter of fact, just, nah, -uh, I don't want this. This ain't for me. If I came out the womb and looked up at this hole like this, look at her. Smelling like a, back of, a pack of backwoods. You know what I'm saying? I'd be like, I don't want to come out here. Nah, -uh. I'd rather windmill on the inside. I don't want to be out here like this. I don't know if he still have the hernia. I know he got one procedure. I don't know how far that procedure went. They said, they said, I didn't say it. They said he needed to go back for a second procedure. We all know that never happened. So I don't know what's going on with the hernia. But could you imagine coming out in the world? Your mama shit you out. And when they put you on her, this is what she look like. I don't like you here. I don't want to be here. Put me back. Could you imagine what she smell like? Hennessy and, 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 and ganja. Poor baby probably ain't even have a new baby smell. Because, you know what I'm saying? It probably smell like Hennessy on the inside, too. Can't you tell? He needs love. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all keep Junior in your prayers. Now tonight we could we could plug we could we could clog up the prayer line for Junior. You guys keep Junior in your prayers. This the only listen. Keep Junior in your prayers, okay? Clog up the prayer line for Junior tonight. We're going to have to. We're going to have to do what we need to do. 
we gonna have to clog up the prayer lines for junior a junior he la be do be da maluminati can't you tell he needs love <laughs> Hashtag save junior You guys please keep junior in your prayers We're going to keep up with this uh, situation Hopefully um, we can get together uh, Perform an operation junior and then go on from there, you guys. Keep Junior in your prayers. Please, Lord. Please keep him in your prayers. Clog up the prayer lines. They say Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. Let Jesus know Junior, Jesus Junior, need his help. Somebody get Jesus, black Jesus, though. Not the clear one. Get the black Jesus on the line. And when he get up there, they say, tell him what you want. Say, Jesus Junior needs you, Lord. Jesus, come get him. Come get Jesus Junior, Lord. He needs you. Please, Lord, whatever you do, come get him. I don't ask for nothing, Lord. I just ask that you come get Junior. Please, yo, your namesake, Lord, if you don't do Jesus. If you don't do nothing, do it for Junior. Jesus. I don't ask you for nothing, but I'm asking you for this. Jesus. Come on, save your namesake. If you don't save your namesake, then there's no one else that can be saved on this earth. Jesus, please be with your junior. Please be with your seed. Please be with junior because he needs you more than ever. Jesus, yes, that's how I need y'all tonight, okay? Please, Lord, please, tonight, if no other night, tonight, okay? Jesus, you guys, um, thank you for the cash apps, everybody. If you have not already liked the video, okay, like the video. If you have not already, please and thank you, like the video, you guys. Thank you, Deborah, for the cash app. I appreciate you. Thank you, Jen, for the cash app. She says, love you, beautiful. Love you more, beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Ms. Coco. Uh, is that how you say name? BX? Thank you for the cash app. Keep doing your thing. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for being here. Rochelle, hey, TD. She says, thank you. Birthday drinks on me, favorite niece. Thank you, TT. I appreciate you, Rochelle. Thank you, TT, Rochelle. Thank you, uh, Clemisha, uh, for the cash app. Happy birthday to your man. Gum on me, Misha. Oh, yay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She love Braille for the cash app. Uh, it's Mila Liddy. Okay. Thank you, Mila Liddy. Love your fan. Love you more, baby. Thank you so much. You guys, if you have not already, please like the video. It is free. I'm not asking y'all for nothing. Just like the video, please. It's super free. Chinese 617. Love your channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Um, hold on. I got a couple more. I got two more. Hold on one second. You guys, if you want a free way to support me, like the video. If you haven't already, please Shay boogie. Thank you so much for love. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then I have uh, Deb, Deb Lee. I already said that. Thank you so much. You guys, if you haven't already liked the video, I'm going to get off of him. Keep Junior in your prayers, you guys. I appreciate y'all for being here. Y'all could be anywhere else, but y'all here with the doll. I love you. Thank you for being here. Like I said, I keep saying that already. Oh, also, uh, follow me on Rumble. That's where we get down. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter, all this stuff. And if you have not already, you're a new dog, just subscribe because you're coming back. Chris Animals, I know y'all mad. I hope y'all win me and you're on for a lot of socket and it can never put be put back. I hope you hoes walk around like this for the rest of your life. Yes, I do. I don't want nothing good for any of the Christian animals. Not one thing. Nothing. I wish all negative things on the Christian animals. Yes, I do. Anyways, I love you guys. Y'all know how we do around here. I'm going to joke y'all out like I joke y'all in. I love y'all. See y'all later tomorrow. Tomorrow in the morning for the jokes. All my jokes people, y'all know what it is. And tomorrow evening at 5 o'clock at the dollhouse, we're going to joke again. All right? Love y'all. Peace. Bye, y'all.
check one two one two. We live, baby. Come, come, come on. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Can you can you can you hear me now? Oh, let's go. <laughs> it's your boy Big Chew, the voice of the beat. You know what I want? Blaze up. Come on, Blaze. It's a beat for me. Wah 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 wah